Hi guys, we're doing a new series called Dive Into Drive. I'm your host, Josh Pomeroy, and you can call me JP. We're working on a bunch of projects that are going to showcase the power and potential of the Google Drive apps, the apps that are built into Google Drive. And we are going to speed run through some of these projects. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be fast paced. So fire up your Google Drive. And we're going to dive right into Drive. One of the most common things that I run into are people who want to uh, just put some text on an image or photo, right? You'd be surprised how complicated it seems once you actually start trying to do it. And what, what do I use? Do I have to have Photoshop to do that or Illustrator, etc.? And I want to show you how to do that with Google Drawings and also with Google Slides. With Google Slides, it'll give you multiple pages. So if you wanted to create something more than just one-sided or something that had more like a PDF that's multi-page, a multi-page PDF with text, images, etc., and laid out exactly how you want it, you can do that in Google Slides. And so that's what we're going to focus on in this video. We're going to dive right in. So I'm going to do something that is extremely common. First thing I'm going to do is go over to File and go to Page Setup. And I'm going to set this up like an 8.5 uh, by 11. Hit Enter. And there we go. We've got our paper set up. A lot of people seem to want to be able to put text on an image and make it look good. So I'm going to pull in an example image. These are free images from unsplash.com. I'm going to grab this one. And you see it automatically sizes it to the width of my page. That's great. That's kind of how I wanted it. I want to create some sort of like big header image, maybe for a flyer or something. And so I'm going to throw in just a few things quickly to kind of fill out the rest of this page. So I'm going to use a text box, pull in a text box here. Let's give, give it just some dummy text. So I'm just going to put in some text here. So I'm going to have some big headline text and I'm just going to go ahead and format this first and then we can always go back and input our actual text later on. So uh, for a big headline, I'm going to use this uh, font, Anton. I like that one. And I'm going to put the size up to something big like that. I'm going to hit enter to give myself a new paragraph and uh, we'll go with Proxima Nova and something like 14. And I'm just going to put in some Lori Ipsum. So there's a little bit of dummy text. There we go. So I've got a nice text box here. If I wanted to make this multi-column, I could do that as well. Let's just grab this paragraph, get rid of it. I just cut it to the clipboard with Control X. I'm going to shorten this one up. Let's make this two column just by, I'm holding Control and Shift. Shift will constrain it to as I'm dragging it, doesn't move it all over the all over the place, and it that'll work with any object. And so instead of moving it like this and just trying to get it lined up, which the smart guides are great for for doing this and getting it just just right. But if you just wanted to move it in either horizontal direction, you can hold down Shift, and now I cannot move it up or down. And you can do the same thing if I want to move it. If I want to copy, I can hold down Control. I'm going to drag a copy, and then I can hold Shift, and it's going to constrain it to just moving up. Just like that. I just noticed something I'm going to get rid of. Let's get rid of all the formatting on this and make it Proxima Nova. Same here and Proxima Nova. There we go. So now I've got two columns. And I'm going to select both of those and make sure that they're aligned in the center of the page. So I'm going to go to my range menu, center on page horizontally. There we go. So that's kind of cool. I like that. Um, I might want to have maybe like a little footer here at the bottom. And I might put some info down there. Uh, for now, I'll just imagine that it's there. Maybe I'll choose a color that kind of goes with my design here. Just gray for now. All right, so now we've got this image. We want to put some text on it. I recommend using, the, from the insert menu, using word art. And I'm going to make this flyer maybe just about love. So I'm just going to type the word love. And I'm going to choose a great font for it. And there's tons and tons of fonts for you to choose from. Uh, if you need more fonts, you can click more fonts right down here, and it will open up. This menu where it pulls fonts from the uh, from the, from the Google font library. I have one here that I like for the word love. 
And I'm going to take off my outline and make my font white. And I don't want to cover up a lot of the picture, but I do want this to be bigger and maybe a little bit lower like that. And maybe give it a subheadline so I can either go to insert and choose word art again, or I can just use control and drag a new copy, change my text, and then change my font later. So subheadline, I'm just going to put this in sub headline here. All right, and that's going to be a different font. I'm just going to go with the one that I'm using down below, which is Proxima Nova. And this works just like a shape, so I'm going to grab the corner of it. Holding Shift will keep my proportions so I don't squish it. And I'm going to make it about the same width as the word love. And you see I get those nice blue smart guides. I'm going to line that up, just nudge it down a couple of times and maybe give this a different color. Something subtle. Maybe I'll make it just a tad bit smaller than the word love. Okay, something like that. I like that. All right, now we need a little bit more contrast here, so I'm going to select the image, go to Image Options, and then just bring down the brightness just a little bit. Now you see all of a sudden everything pops out. Now you can read everything. And I'm going to maybe move these right on top of the hands. I can still see enough of that. I know what it's saying. It's it's great. I, I kind of like how the O and the V kind of fit right there in those hands. Now, a couple of things that you can do with the images, you can double click them and you see how inside you get these black handles. That's your cropping. If I grab the black handle, you see it, I'm going to start cropping this. If I grab the blue handles on the outside, I can expand this and move it inside this cropping box. So that takes a little bit of practice and you can you can sort of change the the composition of how things are laid out. So maybe I would like that better. You see a little bit more of the thumb, the, you see more of the heart uh, with the hands there. And so I can just click outside of this and uh, and there we go. So I've got my image, I've got my text, I've got a nice formatting for my text columns there, a little bit of a footer. If I wanted to put something in this footer right here, any shape, if you just double click, you can start typing into, and so that you can see this better, I'm gonna change my font color to white, and I'm just gonna put in some fake information. But this could be like, you know, address, phone number, contact info, whatever. I'm going to center this just like this, and maybe choose my my headline font there, and maybe change the size of that just a little bit. Not too big, something like that. So that could be anything. Address, phone number, email address, website, Facebook, anything. And that will move along with the shape. That's one cool thing about adding your text to shapes like that, just by double clicking on it to add your text. So there you go, guys. We've just created a beautiful flyer that uh, with some actual information in here could be really great for your next event or for whatever you want to use a flyer for. Um, and we did it in, in Google Drive. So we used something free in a web browser. Uh, we didn't need we didn't need Photoshop. We didn't need uh, hardly anything. Now I, I you know I had a, f a photo already ready, but that's why I, s I suggested Unsplash. Lots of great high resolution photos that you can use just like I did in this demonstration. So check it out, guys. Hey, I hope you liked this episode of Dive and Drive. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this to come. We're going to get even deeper into Drive as we go on. So stay tuned. I'll be your host, JP, as we dive in together into Google Drive. See you guys in the next one.